Yep. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to be teaching you guys today is the difference between annual plants, biennial plants, and perennial plants. Now, off the bat, does anyone know what any of those terms mean? Yes. That's perennial. Right. So that, that's a good start for uh, for what the term means. Um, so first off, start with just defining a few terms. Anyone know what annual means? Yearly. Yearly. That's right. Annual, yearly. Anyway, same thing. Here. Now, annual is not actually a type of uh, one of the types, and annual means that it is that its life cycle is yearly. From the time that it uh, it's seeded in the spring, it grows for one full growing season and then dies, and the only thing that bridges the generations are dormant seeds that go through the winter. Now, there's another kind that's similar to that one. By two. So a two yearly, meaning it has a two year life cycle. So what it would do is, uh, well, let me use this thistle as an example. In its first year, it comes out like this. It develops a little, uh, rosette on the ground. And during that first year, it doesn't seed, it doesn't elongate its stems, it grows like that, and with these thistles, if you see one of these in the ground, if you pull it out, you're going to save yourself a lot of trouble because after the dormant summer, it comes back as one of these nasty things, and that's how it spreads all over your place. Another one that's a biennial, onions. Now, has anyone ever grown onions here? Now you're kind of thinking, wait, we don't have onions for two years, right? You harvest them after one year because when you harvest onions, they aren't mature crop yet. If you let them grow a second year, they'll grow and they'll seed. And so that's what makes onions a biennial. So annual, biennial, the other one, per. Any guesses on that one? Perennial. What's that? Perennial. No. Um, per meaning each. Per meaning each. Per annual. Per year. Each year. It's a plant that comes back for multiple years. Now, the difference between perennials and both annuals and biennials is for perennials, they will go dormant during the winter and come back on their own as the same plant. With, uh, with biennials and annuals, the only thing that bridges the generations are dormant seeds. With biennials, those dormant seeds bridge the generations every two years, and annuals bridging them every one year. So, So for a little visual for that, So for your annuals in year one, in the spring, well, for all of them, let's say in the first year you plant it or the seed begins growing. Now, for annuals in the first year, you have growth, seeding, and it dies in the same year. So, say right here is the first winter. 
you need seeds to get you back to do this cycle again, and seeds again to go through the next year. So they go through a one-year cycle every time. So with biennials, as I kind of explained with, uh, with this visual, you'll plant them from seed the first year, or okay, you plant them from seed each year. They'll begin to grow. They won't necessarily seed in that first year. Now, do they die at the end of that first year? No. And what happens to them? They go dormant during that first year during the winter. So then the next year, you'd get your, uh, your stem elongation. Flowering and seeds. And then that second year of diet. And you need seeds to start it over again this time. So for perennials, this one's hard to say because you have plants like some perennials like trees will grow for many years and it'll be a while before you even see seeds, flowers, or fruits. Um, some perennials, which is uh, Shasta daisies, you'll see growth like this in your first year, and it'll grow flowers and seed every year, um, then go dormant, grow, die back a little bit. It'll be good green cover in the winter, and it'll repeat that cycle every year. So it, it really varies. So with perennials, that first year, growth, dormant, growth, I'm just going to put a question mark because it depends on each plant every year and how long their life cycle is. So, first off, any questions? Okay, so uh, if everyone can get into groups of three, I have a little activity. <coughs> Um, to go off of your this work. Okay. So who's groups here? Okay, we have one, two. Are you just gonna do group four here? Um sure, sure. sure. Right, we have four groups. We're gonna do four different plants. And I want to try to work it out together and figure out which kind each is. And uh, with each one, send, send someone up from the group, and I'm going to write on the board, perennial, <coughs> biennial, and annual, and bring what you think it is up with you. So I'll give you guys a couple of minutes to work on that.
Has anyone got any ideas yet? All right. Um, let's go ahead and start with annuals. If you have an annual, you send it in a representative up to your, put your group up. Yes. Two years are annuals. Okay. Corn, yes. Sugar beets. All right. Sugar beets? No, sugar beets aren't. Aw, so what? Yes. <laughs> no, they, they go back to three years. But the chats are crazy. Um, we're going to start with, uh, with the annuals. So does anyone else have any animals up there? Oh, peas. No, the other ones. Right, right. Yeah, and they have those seeds. 
Mm -hmm. All right. And so how long is the generation on Canada thistle, this group? How long does a plant take from uh, starting out from seed to dying? Two years. Great. All right. So does anyone else have any more questions about this? Or does everyone understand the difference between the three? Mm-hmm. Yeah? All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, 